We designed Ballot Box to generate debate and challenge thinking about some of the key issues facing Auckland in the run-up to the local elections later this year. I believe that the school has a critical role to play as a broker of ideas, a commentator, a thought leader on the issues facing Auckland and New Zealand. South Auckland is predominantly a tenant community. It doesn't have as much control over its environment as many other suburbs and communities do. What I'd like to do is to offer ideas for us to become a more inclusive Auckland. We begin with some seriousness rather than just empty rhetoric to provide housing which is affordable, safe and secure. We ensure that no young person Auckland wide, not just in South Auckland, leaves education or training without a job. If we want people not to live in poverty, we do need to pay the decent living wages. Right now, there is such an exclusion between the rich and poor in New Zealand that we cannot empathise with the pain and suffering that's going on. We're living in a community that is divided and those differences really matter. And the reality is there are no simple fixes. The complexity of the drivers of where and how we've got the inequalities in our city are massive. What we need is leadership and we need to have a caring attitude. But what we have, as has been described, is a two-speed city. So on the one hand, we've got real Auckland housewives and on the other end, we've got the desperately poor families living in cars in the middle of winter. To live happily in the city, people must have enough money and they must have enough time. Many Aucklanders are failing to have either of those two. But when I look at the older population, I see that they're doing a bit better than young families. You cannot do something to a community. You must enable a community to take control of its destiny. You know, we've got an uncle in Ngāti and his name is uh, Bob Marley, and he says, none but ourselves can free our minds. We have built 30 brand new homes, cost the Ngāti Whātua 15 million dollars. We've been privileged, actually, uh, to invite 30 families back onto our tribal land. We owned some state houses, there were 10. We pulled those down and we replaced them with 30. 